Hey everybody, it's Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Rekinder. When we last left off, we just saved Sayaka and Aya, and we taught Shuichi a lesson, but then he had his sassy Latin music again, and we realized we were just uncool compared to him. So I've been keeping everyone alive every time they think one of their death scenes possibly comes up, and I'm wondering if, if they die, if my game keeps going or not, if I game over. So... Assuming I don't get any more deaths or anything, uh, I think after I get a little bit further in the after I beat the game, I think I'm gonna go back and see what happens with that. If we go down the process of elimination, Hiroto is probably gonna be the next one to have his life threatened, I think. I guess you're right. The shop has a lot of useful things, so maybe we could look around. What about after we get food? There's apartments by the shop. I think we should search them. Yeah, there could be something there. Alright, we'll go to the hag shop, and then to the apartments. Hmm. Would have enjoyed being able to talk to the others, but whatever. What? Is Sayaka... She's some kind of dom? Ooh. Oh, oh okay. Thought there was something more there. I... I'm assuming she's a Joe character, because every time we come up here, she seems to have some kind of new dialogue. That's a little bit odd. I hope you're not referring to... Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we gotta go to the hag shop. Alright, this should be enough food for everyone. Attain food for everyone. <laughs> okay. Getting uh, Walking Dead flashbacks here. Hmm. Divorce seems to be a real big theme. Cooling pads. Everyone seems to have a missing parent of some kind, or a divorce, or some kind of rocky thing in their relationship, like Yuichi does. I'm wondering if this is a translation change. Feels weird for him to bring up root beer. As far as I know, I'm, what I'm usually told by people uh, who have never lived in the U.S. at all, um, even Europeans, they don't understand why root beer is popular here. And I've never seen anyone drinking root beer in Asia. So I thought I maybe mean, that's a translation change, I don't know. Seems weird for him to be a big fan. Huh? What's up? The door! Won't open! No way! We're locked in. Oh no. 
Oh no. That was quick. Try it. I have my doubts if it's gonna work. Mm, I should maybe block this turn. Didn't seem to do anything. Oh, let's. Oh, I didn't want to block. Serious pleasure. So we needed that bill, and this is, or this fight, pretty much unwinnable. Unless she has such a low health threshold, you can theoretically maybe out damage your healing, but I really doubt it. I try. Oh, she doesn't really have that much health. Yeah, maybe it is possible to kill her if you get some lucky crits in or something. I don't know. Well, that was one big gimmick fight. Are you okay, Hiroto? I was careless. But I like paint. Oh. Just didn't want you to worry. Yeah, I figured. So was that a mistress? Must be. Looked like the one Shinsuke and I saw in the park. She must have locked a door, too. Well, good. Now we can leave. Yeah. Time for a deep flashback. You are now entering the sea of the soul. Just then, waves of water spilled out of the houses and buildings around town. It formed a river, a lake, and soon a sea. A thousand years sea, a sea of memory, sunken ruins of remembrance. The sea so resembled the sky, I felt I was flying. Yes, and so too did twinkling stars gather. It was a blue sea of stars. Hmm. So I'm Yuichi now, okay. Here's a dialogue from the start of the game. What if he hid the porno in that book, and he gave it to him, not realizing, like, Oh, wait, that's the book I, uh, oh. 
that Yuichi misinterprets that as he wants to have, like, he's having an affair or something, I don't know. That'd be some, that'd be some ironic shit. Sea of Memories. So Yuichi was a Chuni? It's a magical word that makes everything better. Except making your parents not, you know, go crazy and divorce and die. They seem happy enough, though. Doesn't quite link up with the diaries. Hmm. That's why I'm thinking maybe the diary was a biased perspective, or maybe the only the mother went crazy. This links up with the one book in her room, then, that talked about a s mental, a certain mental illness being real or not. Here's where they destroy the books.
It seems like my one fear of maybe he discovered that porno might be true or not. He... I'm thinking the book he tears up in the bookstore, whatever, might be an adult book, if you know what I mean. Oh. That's interesting. She killed herself. So. None of this explains how Yuichi got his own theme song and took over the town. I hope it doesn't turn out all the kids were just different aspects of his psyche and we've been playing in his memories the entire time. Ooh, I'd be upset about that. Someone, take me. Take me away from here. I don't want to hate. Or be hated. I'm also considering Shunsuke may be a part of his psyche too. But that's just a stupid crack theory. Hey, you okay? You weren't moving at all. You should get back to the base to rest. No, I'm fine. Let's hurry to the apartments. Seriously? Not even phased? I'm fine. Don't worry. Well, okay. We'll go. But don't bite off more than you can chew. Yeah, thanks. Of course, I wasn't fine at all. My head was blank. But I felt there was something I had to know. And that spurred me on. So the apartments are where she threw herself off the cliff. I mean, off the... out the window. Is that the apartments? Yes, it is. Well, we're here. Now what? I guess we'll just look floor by floor. Look like about six from the outside. Dang. You know, there is an elevator. Don't you remember earlier? Elevators are dangerous. We'll take the stairs. Yes, those stairs will certainly be safer. You know, perfectly safer from a childlike being that can teleport or teleport anything at his will. Dark 
Some specs. Some reason my character likes jumping on beds and jumping off to them to his death. On TV does after this mean next week? Oh no, puzzles. Press the buttons for the password, and the door is open. Get it wrong and bye-bye. At higher than F or at equals F? Is this a message from the town? Probably. At equal F. Okay, I can write that down. At equal F. Mm. These are colored in for some reason, like they were going to be useful at some point, but I can't interact with them yet. Pound is C. A, B, C. As easy as one, two, three. Scissors in the bed. It's like Yuichi knows I have this urge to jump on every bed I see, even if it's gonna kill me. They just set up traps on each one. Uh, let's see, we'll set up icky stuff on this one, scissors on that one, and the next one we're gonna have them jump off onto the floor and break through and die. Yeah, see, these were both highlighted. That's weird. Oh. Okay, that's locked. I should probably save pretty soon. Oh no. Man, six floors is a lot of stairs. This is the top floor. The mistress might be here, so watch out. Right. Hey, can we take a break? My legs are killing me. No. We need to investigate. There's not much time to rest. Says the swole guy with great muscle build. Oh, crap. No one here. But they always seem to appear out of the blue, so... Um, I guess. Well, what do we do? Just check every floor again, I guess. Huh? You mean take all those stairs again? Hey, these stairs aren't as bad as some games I've played. Sounds exhausting. I mean, three flights of stairs or so? Man, that's that's a lot of work. Look, there's... We can't slack off here. Did I tell you that? Hey, I'm gonna take a break. Huh? If you ask me, the elevator is perfectly safe. You know... Because I'm going to break off the group, almost get killed, 
or possibly get killed if you fuck up. Like, you know, every horror movie or horror plot. No, it's too dangerous. Anything could happen in an elevator. It's a big risk. And I told you, there's no time to... Ah, this again. Forget it. I'm damn well taking a break in the elevator. Ray! You know, let's not take a break right here in this perfectly safe floor where we have open vision of every corner. So we can't exactly get ambushed, although it doesn't really matter because they can just teleport in the middle of us, but you know. Whatever. This really wasn't something to get in a fight over. Hey. Hmm? Was I... too harsh? Um... Well, I know you're trying your best, so I mean... I see. Anyway, shouldn't we follow her? She'll be in danger. Right. Let's look around. Password part 3. Exclamation point B. Look down for an answer. Oh. Okay. One, don't reveal the culprit at the start. It detracts from the horror. Two, don't have too much dialogue. It hinders immersion. Three, don't add any lame gags. B-movies are so stale. So are you telling me that this broke all the rules? Or all the rules that were broken were just... red herrings? Best save. Mm. This is the best one to make a save in, yeah. Oh, hello there. What? Shut up! Who needs a pinup at a time like this? Shitsuke. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Never mind me. I see what they did there. No, oh, don't have a lame gag, so. You look around here, Shinsuke, and I'll go this way. Sh should we really split up? It's just a little ways, you baby. See ya. Oh, okay, guys, let's just split up and, you know, on a horror adventure. Maybe Hiroto feels responsible. I wouldn't be that fussed about it, honestly. No one liked her anyway. And her skill was only useful in one fight. Oh, sounds like someone's strapped in the elevator. Oh, I wonder who's dumb enough to do that. Oh, no. Hmm? Is that... Ray? Where? Where are you? In the elevator. What? Ray, are you okay? Yeah, I just decided to be dumb and hide in here. You know, that turned out it was a trap. Why are you... Oh, I see. I took the elevator down to the first floor, but then the door wouldn't open. It's just like Hiroto said. Uh, I get carried away so easily. Save it for later. So you can't open it from the inside. No, nope. I've been drawing over and over and... Oh. Oh. Huh? Up? <sighs> Gotta go. Fast.
Why is there an announcer for the elevator anyway? Must be that damn Yuichi! Well, thinking about it, maybe it's actually the town. Hey, is there an emergency button? Um... Oh, there is! I'll press it! Nope. Of course this lousy town wouldn't make it do anything useful. Um, well... Maybe it is the town causing all this. And you choose just another pawn. I've been thinking about that for a while, anyway. You know, pretty much like Silent Hill, I guess. Won't open from this side, either. I think the door is just totally stuck. See any other way out? Nope. I see nothing. Well... Ugh. Could do this for every floor? It really won't open. Ray! Hey, um... If it goes to the top floor, what do you think will happen? Huh? You don't think it'll f S sorry I just... Oh, God. Yuichi. Hey! Wanna know how to save her? Huh? I'm sure you do wanna know. But you should know already, I hope. If you explored these apartments well, the answer should have shown itself. Yuichi. Hmm? Why are you telling me this? Don't you want to kill us? I don't get what you're after. Oh, don't worry. I know I know exactly what I want to do to you all. Trust me. That's not my problem. Think back to what you found here. Now then, I've got some shows to catch. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. God damn it, you sassy bastard. Well, Yuichi seems energetic. Oh, you couldn't really hear? Maybe it's because all that Latin music was too loud. Oh yeah, he said I could save you if I searched the apartments well. Huh? Hmm. That's right. I found those messages from the town. Those were hints. A door opening password game. This must be what it meant. It said you press the right buttons to open the door. So, elevator buttons. Ray, are there buttons in there? Yeah, for floors 1 to 6. That if we press those in the right order, the door should open. Okay. Ugh, God, I can't remember this shit now. Okay, so let's see. At F, pound C, exclamation point B. Oh, I get it. The at, pound, and exclamation point is like a keyboard. Like what you hold shift to enter, so... Escalation point would be one, at would be two, and let's see, uh, pound would be three. It's okay. So the order is one, three, and then two. No, two. Fuck. Two. <laughs> I'm mixing things up in my head. Two. Let's see, the next one was pound, so pound would be three, and then exclamation point, which is one. So, first one is, so exclamation point means it goes first, and if we go down the alphabet, B is number two, so the first one is two. Yeah, okay. Oh. 
Okay. Uh oh. I I don't know if I did that right. Maybe it's just gonna go up to then it's gonna stop or something. Press the buttons. Next is so at and is F and F is six. Okay. So we just have pound left. Yeah, we're probably okay. I mean, it's not really my life. I don't care. <laughs> Last one was pound, and that was C. So, three, if we're going by this logic. So, two, six, three. Yeah, okay. So, six will we get off. Okay. Ray, thanks goodness. That Michael Jackson song saved you. Yeah, I'm glad you're safe. Man, my legs are still shaking, though. Well, anyway... Hooray, I'm not dead! Then let's find Hiroto. I gotta apologize to him. Yeah. Hiroto is probably being accosted by the... thing. Nothing of note here. At any rate. I wonder where Rei went, and Shonsuke for that matter. Knew we shouldn't have split up. But for now, pain that it is, I guess I'll just have to recheck. <laughs> that laugh. Ooh. Man, Hiroto, I think you've been around to kill every single one of these now. Okay. Do something. Oh, new skills. Because I mean, aim for the eyes. Well, it says on the tin, aim for the legs. You don't have any legs. Gouge the eyes out. And she can't see, despite the fact that it doesn't look she has any eyes. Oh. I can't win like this. I have to come up with something. Fink was added to abilities. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I can't speed up. Take the alcohol. Take this, take this. Holy shit! Oh, there goes our bro. Whatever.
Okay. Ah! You got burn, all right. <sighs> Can't believe I won. I guess I was awfully lucky to be in this room. Hey, guys. You know, just made myself a uh, impromptu flamethrower. Shizuke. Whoa, you beat the mistress alone? Not bad. No, I was just lucky. All these items were conveniently placed here for like a puzzle. Like somebody wanted me to have a chance of winning, but also wanted to fuck me over at the same time. No, I was too harsh. Good. Now get along. I must have worried you too, Shunsuke. Now bet. Well, as long as you two have made up. Well, we've beaten all the mistresses. Back to base. Yeah, now we should be able to leave. And that's the end of part three of Rekinder. I imagine we're getting near the end with all three princesses dead, and we're getting more of the plot revealed to us, although... I'm still not sure how serious I'm supposed to take it. I, it definitely seems like the relationship between the parents and the children is the key theme, although... It's kind of strange. I haven't figured out the main character yet. That's kind of where I'm confused. Anyway, I won't talk your head off. And thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you for, I, what I'm going to probably assume is the final part.